we're excited. There's that. Uh, we got stuff bubbling and brewing and yep. smelling good over here. Chef Matt Schelling, the director at Dorsey Culinary Academy, here to show us how to make uh, chorizo chili. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for having me again. You brought a whole It's good times. Uh, yeah, I brought a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah, I got to run down this food. Yes. I like to call this Buckeye Secondary Sopapillas uh -oh. because they're cheap, easy, and fried. <laughs> <laughs> What's that mean? Is that an Ohio State yeah, Buckeye joke? It's it's pretty pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. These are the Little Brother Burgers. They're oh. delicious. <laughs> Cheeseburger, uh, do I have to pay for this? Yeah, it's right. <laughs> oh, so Jim, Jim Hart. Jim Hart, you Jim paid for it. Yeah, Jim paid Jim for it. Right. <laughs> so I'm making some chili. But I he, also, he'll misremember it if you ask him. Okay, go ahead. I also have some stromboli over here. I've got some uh, corn elote. Here's like a whole jazzed up bowl of the chili. The chili's great for tailgate, which was kind of the original idea because, like, here I've got spaghetti squash. I've already Guy in a container, I can add the chili to it. No. And go oh my gosh, I didn't know that was what it was. Okay. I baked uh, cornbread yeah. in those containers, and you can just add the chili to that and then go, and everybody's got their own little container. So and chili goes nice on and everything, clean. essentially. Yes, and chili makes a mess. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. See that color right there? That gets on anything, it's not want, getting off. Right? Yes, absolutely. Hey. Matt, what's, um, just real quick, what's in the stromboli? It looks. Um, is it regular? Uh, it is ham, salami, mozzarella, oh, okay. and parmesan okay. wrapped in a pizza dough. It looks so good, yeah. yeah. I didn't think to You're put all of these oh, toppings on thing. chili right there. Why not? We so, got some yeah, pickles, I just, I pickle vegetables. You got that fat and heat, and you got the pickle. <laughs> then you got some radish there. These potato straws from Beggar Made mm -hmm. are, mm. I love these things. I've got them on the dogs, too. Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah. Right. Comment so, on your apron real quick. Sure. Fire I away. love that. Oh, Thank you. Oh, yes, yeah. Chef. <laughs> do you know what nice. the? I, I always ask people, do you know what these are? And they're like, it means yes, Chef. I said, no, it's the quickest, it's the shortest distance between two points in the kitchen. <laughs> yes, Chef. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, so this chili, I use chorizo, and you were talking about the ground up vegetables yeah, here. Yeah. Like everything you see on this platter has been ground up and put into that. Is that so, for flavor or texture? Absolutely. Or? Absolutely for flavor. Okay. Look at all those, all these different vegetables have different flavors. It's really good. Right? Yeah. yeah. And that's what's in that chili right now that you're eating. I also toasted off a bunch of herbs, well, a bunch of spices. Then I added some herbs, got some almonds in there too, and it comes up with this uh, mole seasoning right here. Mm. Oh. It's and then I finished it with some Mexican chocolate. And of course, you know. Yeah, a little, you got a little beer. Surface beer. A little beer. There. So, wait, are you? <laughs> I got spice. You got spice. That's what <laughs> I was gonna ask about. What do you in here makes this spicy? <laughs> this us right who are here. Uh, yes, that'll wake you up. Awesome. Matt, what what order do you cook? Oh. Some, okay, someone's at home and they want to make a big thing of chili. What's the sequence of events? Okay, for this one, yeah, I cooked all the vegetables. Like I chopped up all the vegetables in okay. like uh, cuisinart, right? Mm -hmm. And then I cooked off all the vegetables together. Remove them from the pan, I added my chorizo. Yep. Then I brought it back in. Now is the point where I will season with this, with the, the mole. Uh, mole oh, seasoning. That's a healthy seasoning. Heck yeah. I'm a fall, I mean, I'm a fall guy. This mm -hmm. is just This is heavenly. really delicious. So yeah. it's a ton of vegetables yeah. too, because this is actually really, I mean, you saw mm -hmm. it was almost equal portions meat mm -hmm. to veg yeah. on yeah. this. So I kind of sneak them in there. Um, Best way to do it. I have to be careful with what I eat, you know, none of us are getting any younger. So uh, I sneak vegetables into my diet that way a lot. Mm. Yeah, and chili then just can there. be kind of healthy, yeah. right? Especially and you can add beans to this chili if you right. like to add beans. If you're tasting it and going, okay, that's too hot for me, add some beans. Yeah. I don't know, lay it out. Oh, okay. Everything will be okay. <laughs> Everything will be okay. Life is still good. Now, the, using the um, chorizo, is that, um, that's a sausage, That's right? a Mexican sausage, yeah, right? just to give a special Absolutely. flavor. Absolutely, it's just mm. to give it some flavor. Well, we were initially talking about doing a barbecue chili, mm -hmm. like oh. taking some leftover barbecue and turning it into chili. Cool. And uh, we decided, well, not everybody's necessarily Pretty got barbecue creative, around. <laughs> I've got it floating around, but I'm a little different. <laughs> That's yeah, really. Thing, That's so. a great idea, though. 
Well, talk about the classes. That are, what's happening at the, you're getting ready to okay, I mean, so back to school time, October right? October 2nd, we have our fall enrollment. Great <laughs> enrollment so far. A ton of activity. You can't hang, huh? <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are watering, and this is so not that spicy. It's such a weenie. Uh, so I, uh, we've got our big enrollment of the year coming up. It's a very exciting time of year for us. Um, I, you know, okay, I mean, are it's, you still it's spots coming. available? Oh, there, there are some spots available, but I'll tell you what, there, it, it's filling up so fast right now. I'm so proud of my admissions team there. That's uh, awesome. Really look, the food industry needs employees, too. They, they, there's a lot going on, mm -hmm. so absolutely, uh, it's a great gateway to get, get into that. Absolutely. It's been a great career for me. I've gotten to travel all around the world That's and cook, so cool. yeah. you know, in the Olympics and the World Cup. And, and okay. even Dave's trying to, to learn a lifelong yeah. skill, okay. right? right. So down. <laughs> no doubt. Awesome. Man, this is so good. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks for having me. How do people uh, find you? Oh, uh, go to our website. That's a great spot. Uh, Roseville itself, 586-296-3225. And that will get you to the Roseville campus, 586-296-3225. And then uh, dorsey.edu. Really go. easy. So. 